obviously it wouldn't be very fair if it was just chat just Adam and I versus you today. And obviously Ryan couldn't be here yes. because he's working. So we had to find you a suitable partner for the challenge. So Mr. Lee. <laughs> introduce yourself to Marcus Lee, <laughs> who is going to be joining us today. So you two are going to take us on today. Certainly are, yeah. Um, <laughs> we need to negotiate your handicap before we start. Seven-ish. <laughs> Seven-ish. <laughs> so yes. We, to, to be continued, to yeah. be continued. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Greetings guys, how are we doing? It is challenger time. Tretty, who we got today? Well, we got these two reprobates and apparently they've got far too many shots. They have got a lot of shots, yes. So, introducing Glenn Taylor. Introduce yourself, Glenn. Uh, Glenn Taylor from Somerset. Uh, been a long subscriber. Long well, supporter uh, of the channel. 250 the channel. miles today yes. to play golf at Royal Bear and Emmons. Marcus? Introduce yourself. I am Marcus Lee, second in the table. <laughs> I was going to say, former leader is what I thought I was going to say. <laughs> the fantasy it challenge. Be anything else at the moment, but really chuffed to be playing with Glenn and, yes. and the new chaps today. So of course, it's going to be fun. We're going to have um, PJ Life versus Subscriber Challenge. Four ball, better ball. They've got a lot of shots, haven't they? They've got far too many shots in the afternoon. <laughs> yes. Right, let's go. Okay, guys, so here we go. The big match, Adam on the tee first. Yeah, not, not the greatest, yeah. so I hate this tee shot. So I'm trying to hold it back into the wind. Just a little, on a little left. Usual place that you... Usual place. Not in that yeah, field, and that's all that matters on this tee shot. Yeah. Me and this tee shot. But we did steal the honour. We, we made sure we took the honour first. Yeah. Um, I had a pretty good tee shot. You did, yeah. yeah. thought yeah. I was going to cut it off the bunker. Slide, nip, nip over the bunker. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. It bad. was, yeah, ended up okay. You'll see Ooh. on the screen here... Straight in the bunker. Straight in the bunker. ...to my shot here. Welcome back. Um, because I get a shot on the hole, so every time you see an asterisk, you know that that's because we get a shot on the hole. the breeze we're taking it, Adam, Wow. Highlighting that I hooked it. Struck it well enough that it went through the wind. So here he is, Glenn Taylor, travelled 250 miles yeah. to play golf with us today. That is fantastic. And he got, and he got there a lot earlier than we yes. thought he was going to get to, so he's, he's had a lot of time on the range. Like, mm. he would have hit a lot of balls. Yeah, a lot of balls, balls definitely. But he was the big yeah. moment for him. First tee. Oh, no, yes. dreamy. Watch out. <laughs> dreamy. How many shots is he getting? Far too many. Oh, oh. Now he's happy. There we go. He's thinking, he's thinking oh, I'm loading him in, I've got me shot. <laughs> he hasn't driven here for nothing. Exactly. Marcus, as you'll float off the tee, you're all good. <laughs> he is a straight golfer, yeah. So he's got his little hybrid out just to poke it down the first. He hasn't had a big warm-up. We tried to uh, goad him into driving, but he wasn't having it. No. Yet. So there we go, down the middle and yep. away we go. Yep. So we're going to skip forward as I'm going to see every single shot as we go through. So Adam, the third shot into the first. And just coming up a little short. Glenn, no. Not oh, this chance. Third shot. It. With, a, with a shot. Yeah. And yeah, oh, great shot. Really, really nice. Yeah. I only had to avoid those branches, but yes, yes it went all very, very oh, nice stop shots, it. Um, which took the pressure off Marcus with his too shot many up. shots, yeah. too many shots. Of course, in great conditions. Oh, well. Really, really nice. Yeah, of course, it's playing well. This is just before we had the really dry spell, so you can see plenty of grass coverage around, and Marcus safely, safely on the green. Skinny, skinny. The little on the thin side, yes. Now. I, I knew I had to try and hold this, yes. so um, to say I had a run of it <laughs> might be an understatement. You weren't going to be sure, were you? Let's see. Hit it, hit Absolutely it. Absolutely ripped it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it short. Yeah, that would have been one where you would have been hoping that hit the flag and yes. dropped straight in. Oh, so this is already there early teamwork. Teamwork. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, 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 bit of teamwork. Just first. watching, Glenn's just going to watch how this one rolls. I was definitely telling him how far that had turned, telling Glenn, <laughs> oh, look out for that. But the comeback putt, what a par. Oh, yeah. yes. So 
A little pressure, a little pressure on Glenn. He's got two putts mm. for the hole, but more excitingly for him, he's got he the really had to go in the first so with a shot on a golf course you've not played before. Uh, claiming 18 shots in the match. Why? But yeah, oh, it's not to be, but. In the same putt as Marcus. There you go, look. And the Have a left foot give. Left, left foot give, net birdie up the first bird. one down. Oh. It's already worth the drive. Already worth the drive, right? One down after one. So yes, yeah, so we're playing the golf course in a slightly different order. So this is hole number two, um, but it is the tenth. I was going to say, if, if any of you are looking at that, thinking, why have they gone for the tenth? Yeah. Um, it's just on a slightly different routing. Again, not the happiest reaction. No, it's a bit. A bit snouty up there. Yeah. And then we sort of bounce into the tree line a little. Like I said. Yeah, again, hit his hybrid a and he right. left himself a long way back on the hole. That's a tough second shot. Glenn was just on it again. Yes. Good tee shot. Um, nice second shot in there. Greatest approach, just left it a little, a little hung it out to the left. This is my third. Your third after coming out. I tried to manoeuvre it every which way I could. It wasn't coming out. No, Glenn's raced his third shot past the Marcus. Actually, has a really, really awkward chip this, here. Like this, if this was in a bunker, it'd be pretty routine. Yeah, but from here, like, it's not easy, is it? Literally gripping almost on the seal, of the, skip, the steel of the club. Even. Yeah. So he struck it really nicely. Played it well. And actually a little bit unfortunate they didn't run out. Yeah, run especially out off of there, how he was playing that, you'd normally see those chase a little more. Yes. So, first birdie part of the day for me. Not quite enough, yeah. but... Left foot's in there though. The left foot give. Oh, you know, so I got in there quickly before the other team. Yeah, you can have that and done. Yep. In row. I'll give him that. So again, Glenn's <laughs> got another part of a second for the win with a par with a shot. It's a great part. part yeah. He's going to get there. Oh, yeah. he's left it in the jaw. Never quite enough, was Man. it? Yeah, it was one of those, as it was going down, oh, I was like, it's going to need to hurry, but not by a lot. I'm very glad that it five. did hurry. It's a half. Yes. Hold this halved. Trey's having, a, Trey's having a fun putt for fun. It's fun. Yes, it's in. Did you have fun? Very much. Was it? Good. Nicely played, sir. So, Sai up near the flag, me in here. Marcus slightly over the back, Glenn just in here. So, I had this putt for a four, which I hit before your birdie putt to try and give you a free birdie putt. And, um, I'm not sure I helped you greatly there, but there we go. So, a chance. Yeah. A chance for your first birdie of the round. Yes. Again, out of the trees to get here. So. Yeah, yeah, good second shot into here actually from where you were. It's absolutely done me. Yeah, I, uh, the greens good had enough. been hollow tied. It did yeah, wander about. It just kind of fibbled around a bit. Cool, right. Whole halved, still one down, 3-3. Three, three. Is everybody getting a shot? So this is a great hole, up and over the rise. And can't see tee shots oh. land. Well, you we can see, see, see that one land. It's it, a bit it, of a sky. Not far. Oh, you get a good one down yeah, here. Yeah, nice String like. So yours was an absolute bullet. It was a low bullet. And it like over the top Just and it's over. chased down, isn't it? Lovely. Mm. So we're coming down the hill into the green. I always think this is a really tricky shot with the elevation change. Easy to either flare this out to the right or as you see here, just it's tweak right. it a little left. It's left. Yeah. It's gone a little long. Or you could do what I did and um, hit possibly one of the best shots that I hit all day. Yeah. Really nice shot in there. And, um, yeah, that will set up a birdie putt in a second. So With the asterisk. Birdie. With the asterisk, yes. So this is your birdie attempt. Yeah. Come on, the trester for the bird. Hit, 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 hit. Ooh. I'm listening. I'm listening with my ear. Nobody's giving it to you as yet. No. It's gone very quiet in the ranks. Exceptionally quiet. Actually. It was very, very quiet. So Glenn for his four uh, with a shot. Uh, 
probably wasn't the shot that would have made his highlight reel. No. But yeah. it's made it to the cut. Um, so Marcus then for his four with a shot. And it's his yes. third hole that. Yeah. And look at look at the cheeky look on the face. Oh did I get a shot? Oh yeah. did I? Oh I didn't realise. Yeah, of course you didn't realise Marcus. That's not on. <laughs> you said that's not on. Yeah. So all of a sudden I've gone from thinking I've probably got two putts to win the hole to, um, to only one. Hold this. That is a three with a shot. <laughs> and thank you, please. So yeah, getting that back, back match back to all square. Yes. Pivotal, pivotal. That could easily have got away from us there. You know, I absolutely flushed this Just about. 10 yards left to where I should have done. Yeah. <laughs> it's gone long, and miles I, long. I hit it straight, but right off the top of the club face. Is it right? on the blade, as yeah. I'm describing there. Ben is literally oh. at where I was, and then it bounced, and it took such a hard Huge kick to the left. left yeah. Flip it. Oh, it's gone big left now. Flip it. Marcus comes in and just does his thing. He was a little long and left as well, oh. and um, nothing particularly exciting happened, so all square and we move on. Probably my favourite hole on the course, 14 or 6 as we're playing it, this is us hitting our second shots. Oh yes, that's the tight line. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> He's very happy with Glenn just chipping out for his second Glenn, shot. That was a very, it was well, literally nice, sat nice. like a bit of an impression. Is this yeah. your uh, trusty three wood trotty? As Glenn is describing, let's see, we'll see if it can do the business. Day, and so <laughs> Neil wasn't going to get that close, but obviously you in with, position, it was with me shots. trying yeah. to trying to be aggressive, get Gotta it as be. close as possible. Give yourself a chance. So wind off the right and I was trying to move that back just and it literally just right. stayed at that tree line. It didn't, didn't yeah, move it didn't the wind too much, no. Marcus gets his third uh, on the green and I just missed the green to the right. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so Marcus and I both in position. Three. This is my fourth chest round by. I've just done a dance at this point. You just done a dance to Miss Glenn's shank, and I didn't know which ball to follow. You made the right decision. I did make the right decision, so that's Mark. I made the right decision uh, is which one to follow in the end. Mark is in four or five, um, so we had one of these putts oh. for the half. You thought it was in, walked after it. Walk after Classic it. Club 360. I also thought it was going, and then it turned left on me, and I couldn't oh, believe oh, it. Oh, look at the face! <laughs> That's a joke. Right then, seven holes in. Yeah, and the shots galore has come into his own. <sighs> so it's been good. Yeah. It's a good golf play. There's yeah. been a few squiffy ones, we'll say. Yeah. But yeah, we're one down, aren't we? We are one down. I'm two over par. Gross. Cheers, partner. And, and we're I've one had a down. lot of ones where I've played for birdie and then just picked the ball up, <laughs> which is always nice. It's always nice, but they've always been holes. What do you think? Marcus, of the... Me and Marcus are working quite well as a dynamic duo. Dovetailing. What, what do you think of the course? The course is great. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Looking it's nice. Well. Really, it's looking good. Really good. Just a little shower. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, as long as that stuff stops falling from the sky. Yeah, we'll be all right. Yeah. Well played, Glenn, so far. Thanks, mate. We've got a so. big, big couple of holes next 16, 17, a couple of long par fours out there. And I have just played it absolutely well. And he's up the fairway. So. That's where that chap's about to hit it. Perfect. All right, let's go. Yeah, he's hit a great shot to hit. Like just, just a little bit short, right? That's right. As you now see. Is it a nice chip shot? Yeah, it's a nice chip. It's, yeah. it's hard that green. It's, it's quite narrow, like, crossways. Exactly. Yeah, and I've come up here just short in two as well. A bit of cutter magic going on there. That's it. To, uh, as you'll see from the screen, I was long, right, long right. absolutely airmailed it. Yeah, it? so obviously again, stroke index one, tough, tough hole, Glenn, for his par, and the boy sinks another putt. Well, and great putt. He, he's relentless. He was, yeah, when he was in a hole, he was on it. And I did that a lot. You did that a lot, just, oh, I don't need it anymore. Um, so yeah, so all of a sudden, I've now got this putt to half the hole. A little bit of aim point, it's just slightly left to right. Get this putt a lot of I was times. Gonna say, not that he needs a lot of aim point around Berry. Not around Berry, I know it pretty well. Um, so yeah, I know it's just outside the left edge. There she goes. So scrapped a half and managed to keep the match at one down. I'm pretty happy about that as well. Yes. 
nothing particularly happened uh, on the ninth hole. We moved through to the par three tenth, which is normally the second yeah. in the normal looping. Um, we, had a, we had a team par. We had a team par, so both of us made par uh, on this hole. Unfortunately, Glenn hit one out a little to the left. Uh, and couldn't quite make uh, his four net three, uh, and Marcus just missed the green, uh, also making four. So it's probably our first time in the match, Great divot. a good divot, that we actually were like, oh, we've been almost given a hole. And then we come to the par five next. Again, not your best tee shot, struggle with driver. Yeah, slipped on that one, but yeah, did struggle all day with driver, really. I probably hit my best one of the day up there, hit a big one down there. Uh, Glenn's hit. An okay one, it's just a little bit down the right hand There's a side. Lot of wind off that side as well. Yeah. Marcus has hit a, a punchy one. A punchy one, yeah. We'll go with. Yeah. So Glenn's knocked it forwards from yeah, there. Yeah, it was a good shot. Great Marcus, shot. you can see, is a little way back and hits a nice one. Nice yep. one up just short. Safely bunker, done. And then we can have a go. This comes out like a rocket. <laughs> yeah. And like takes two or three bounces and goes straight out straight the back. back. Yeah. And uh, if you've played this hole, I've got seven iron into the green. Par five. On par five, which is yeah, and, and I've hit her again a really good, yeah, really good shot. good shot in there. So Glenn's playing his third shot in from about 80 yards. Hits quite a nice one. Uh, Marcus right next to him uh, as well, but obviously without that shot. Right. Team direction there. Yeah. So this is me for my eagle putt, knowing that Glenn is pretty close in. And, um, it's not the best part. I'm not yeah. the happiest with that. Um, but you might still need to take your time and you, you just ram it hand. in one handed. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so this is Glenn for birdie with, with a shot. shot. Come on! Birdie. <laughs> there we go, that's the first sort of roundup time now. And where was the match going at that point in your in your head? We'd just gone to one down. It was we know it's going to be. They've got shots on the next. Yeah. Like it gets the next to it, three, yeah. it. Like it, and it's quite tight. It doesn't take much on every on four. What we would class as four, five, six. Yeah. It doesn't take much to get yourself out of position on those holes. Yeah. Easy to make bogeys. All of a sudden, it's like difficult. Yes. They're, they're, they are birdieable chances. Yeah, but you've but got to you, two good that, shots. The tee shot is very, very crucial on four, five, and six. Yes, Because yeah, the definitely. approach shots at that point, if yeah. you get your tee shot away, are fairly easy. Yes. And the putting surface is fairly flat on those greens. Yeah. So it's like, it's all about those tee shots from yeah, this definitely. point onwards. And it's those it's those next three holes, to 12, 13, 14 in the, in the uh, routing start. that we're playing on. It's now time for us yeah. to catch back up because Obviously, Glenn's getting a shot every single hole, mm. and Marcus still gets another couple of shots in there as well. So yeah. we knew it was going to be hard work from this point onwards. Yeah, we did, but we were only one down. But yeah, and the fourth hole is stroke index two. Mm. So let's get back to it. So obviously, the boys with the honour of the tee, and Marcus hits oh, his Marcus. best drive of the day. Nice high draw down the middle. The last one was a bullet. That one was rocket smashed. Unfortunately, Glenn Squared decided out. to. Square, square, it, square out with oh his body God. alignment and was straight left into the trees, but kicked out, yeah. which was the order of the day for him. Uh, just hit a good one down there, was it? I can't yeah, it wasn't too one. bad. It, I want to get down there a little bit blocked out by a tree. Yes, a bit down the right. I've hit again a pretty good one. I can't reach the button. The next shot on that hole. here scared us both. Oh yeah, he's got he's got three, three wood out, and I think it's going to hit the tree, and he just and just, he just stops, stops it, it, punches it through. Yeah, and good shot. Me and you were both like that. Well, I know, wincing, weren't we? So he's hit a great third very, shot in here good. as well. Oh. Got it right up on the green like Seve. in three. It's just, you, every time you thought you were you were in position, you just, you just, and again, that's where I think the pressure, you know, all of a sudden, you know you've got it up and down from there. Because mm. he's and on I've got hit three. really tight. Like, that's pin high, but like, it's just not close enough. And I've got, not hit a, a great really second chunk. shot. This is now a tough, tough pitch over this. Um, bunker here and I hit a pretty good shot it's okay it doesn't stop the quickest um, so again it's now all down to the putting so apart for me for par um, all three of us Glenn myself and Marcus all the putts for par again quite a good line just to hit it hard yeah. enough Glenn's got a putt for a four to win the hole it's an outside chance but yeah. the way he's been putting yeah I was gonna say Every time he stood over a putt, it was like, oh, it's going to go in. Again, another good. good looking putt, just didn't hit yep. it hard enough. Um, you having a bit of a fun putt again here. Again, just so difficult to keep on it. It's when one you of those, it's like, as soon as you've got it in there, like, 
every, every time there was a shot, it was like, well, I'm just yeah. I'm done. So, Mark is in here for the win. This is low. Match remains. What is it? One down? Still one down. Hmm. Can't get it back. I keep getting too many shots. Yeah. Too many shots. We're playing all right. And that man over there just keeps playing miraculous things out of trees. Yeah, it's just very, very frustrating. But also, at the same time, really nice to watch. Yes. But it's just good not on to our watch. Team. But like, can we watch it tomorrow? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, 13, yeah. second shot. He didn't have the greatest tee shot. No. It Long was safe. Of, yeah. Like, yeah. So I'm in the left hand green side bunker. Marcus hit a thin one. Yeah. Mm. Blend. Unless you have an air shot, in which case it'd be hilarious and we'll send it off and get £250. I don't know what, I don't know what to do. No. About to take a shot. It's coming sideways, okay. Sensible. No one needs to see that. So yeah, so we then move on to me getting my third shot in here. Again, time for a bit of cutter. A bit of cutter magic. Yeah. Played really well again with that club today. Just caught the ball first. Yeah, you got, got it a bit clean. Yeah, but, a little clean. But again, that so, sort of leaves that pressure you yeah. having to hold it. So Mark is in here for birdie yeah. now with a shot. And, uh, so he makes the par with a shot, which means that Adam and I have both got Cuts to half the hole, mine from from distance. Mine's not necessary. Then yours not necessary. Mine's not necessary. I can't do anything can't with the power. that. So move to hole 14. Yeah, That's Glenn cool. hits a big one right, but it does get under the trees. Yeah. And he has a has a way out. Again, just eking down the right again, wasn't it? Yeah, just gone into that just, first tree line. It's just like that. Just it wasn't. Was, wasn't miles wasn't off, was quite it? That. Just wasn't quite there. Uh, I think a nice cut off the bunker, pleased with that. Uh, what are you playing? A little nudgy one? I'm a little nudgy four. Nice, I like a little nudgy four. Like the left hand nobble on the green and just peel it and a little roll it off. I can see it now. Stand by, folks. Yes. Oh, glorious. Really getting to the serious stage now. Yeah. We're two down. Marcus and I both in great position at the tee. He's done it. Has he overcooked it though? It's landing on the flag now. Yes. He's up though. You're up. That is a long putt from there, but he's up. Hold well on. It's a bit of pressure, whatever. Just pulled it and it's gone long, long and right. Very, very difficult. Very difficult shot, and we lose the heart. Dip again. The um, that bunker video to go viral. Well, I told you, you wouldn't want to mess it up from it. No, three down, four to play. Got them just where we want them. Just where we want them. <laughs> you really wouldn't want to mess it up from it. No, three down, four. Look, look at the game four face. On it. He's on it. He's on it. He knows. He's yeah. He loves. He lives for this. He does. That's good to see. Yeah. This is a great reaction. <laughs> and then just heals that one heeled it off again. Right. It's just, and again, this is where they were a great we almost, partnership. We almost needed him to do that earlier yeah, in the day. Earlier. Yeah, just, they didn't give us too much. This is a gift. <laughs> I've obviously I overcut this and I'm, I'm just begging hold for on, it to baby. hold on. Hold on. We managed to scrape a half and we moved yes. down the eighth. The light is going uh, a little bit. I've kid it on the wrong foot. <laughs> Got a little bit cross country, yeah. but that's fine. That was a good strike. Whack that one up onto the green. I was pretty happy with yeah. that one. As you can see, not my consolatory fist bump. Glenn's not had the best of holes up here, but he's he's in. He's still smiling. That's he's fine. happy. Yeah. He's all good. So, birdie putt, outside chance, needs to go in. One of us just to give it a chance. Good part. Ooh, you know, just just that, that does no break line. quite hard left to right at the end of just hitting through can, the break. As you can see by how much my turns right to left. It's 
to come down the hill. I thought at that point it was good. Oh, again, just didn't just, think he could miss from there. Just didn't quite go in. So at that point we kind of, we kind of, days. We kind of knew what was coming. One of those days. Um, Nice, look at that sun through those trees. It was, yeah, it was a lovely evening. And, um, so yeah, Marcus pretty Ooh, much got two putts, two putts, two putts to win the match, but he cool. knows and we know he wants to hold this. Can he do it? We'll change, but I love the change of grip, and then yeah, it goes cross go. handed. No, no, I'm just going to yeah. go normal. Just a little bit low, but great speed. Yeah. Um, and that's enough. That is still more than that. That's all she wrote. Right, Three and two. Congratulations. And Thank this you. is well the well best played. celebration of post COVID. Cheers. Well <laughs> 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 little fizz bump. A little chest bump. I love it. Very British and Irish lines. Very British and Irish lines. <laughs> so then we move on to 17, the ninth. Yeah. And a chance for some hole in ones. These are yeah. some good golf shots. These are sort of like 115 downhill slightly. We were looking at that though, we were talking about the hole for a second, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. 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 straight down the flag. He did. And then Marcus, Marcus it, well, him. hits a great one in here. There we go. Oh. <laughs> and you hit you, you a good one as well. <laughs> yeah. So there, oh, again, another one looking right down, right down the flag. And so there's three birdie putts uh, upcoming already yeah. with one She's to good. go. Unfortunately, I decided. You might have hit the big ball before this one. Well, I get the toe a lot. The tee peg. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I wasn't going to enough. show you where the tee peg was relative to the middle of the divot. Uh, I can't see the sole of your shoe. <laughs> but you did give me a chance for a bit Cutter more cutter wedge. magic. Here it is. This and is this I is thought it. this was in as this I hit it. Off. So um, even Marcus gives it a good reaction. So par for me. It slips out. Straight Just screen. to let you know. Straight screen on the course. The noise burns made. the edge. <laughs> it was like, I knew it was dead straight as well. Glenn just, well, yeah. he's run out. It's been a long day he for him. Sure. There's a lot of miles in the he car. He hasn't left his short. He's got a long journey ahead of him God, as well, but that. still, a nice part. Solid. And every time, every time we hold a part, yeah, I think he's going to do it with a ball grabber every time. Yeah. I thought that when I was watching it back. <laughs> and um, just as if it wasn't enough yeah. salt in the wound. There's a nail Marcus in our coffee. Marcus just pops a birdie in. That, I think that was his first birdie yeah. of the day. Yeah. Um, and then on, again, man. just coming down, coming down the 18th, par five. You really hope that he didn't square this one up. No, he is. It's not until you watch it back. You, you realise how far left he was going. But he's got, he, he he's got that, it down to a tee. He had that little push fade in the, in the lock of the old Lee Trevino. Um, again, just a little down the right, but, yeah. but all good. I love it. This is a... Marcus. Marcus made sure he didn't get above the trees. Yeah, <laughs> keeping it under the wind. Oh, He's not existing. This is the best tee shot I hit all day. Yes, typically. Yeah. Typically when the game's over. But, uh, hmm. yes. Oh, Simon, you're lovely in that light. Oh, it's beautiful. In the setting sun. Again, okay, this is right, possibly up there with some of the best that I hit on the day. I drove it really well, actually. I'm really yeah, pleased with how I played. Um, so we're coming down the last. I need a. I needed a five to shoot 80 or a four to break break 80, which off my hand like a thick pretty line. good. Thick line, hybrid. I just love it. I love that hybrid. It's only a cheap Cleveland, but this is Glenn playing his, playing his third shot in there. Uh, this is my third. Again, time for a little more cutter. Magic, it's just the noise it makes. I love it. Dunk. So, managed to yeah. put it in two. Into the green stuff again. Nice bunker shot. Just again, just these came out a little fiery on you. And we come again. Just love how much break that putt has on it. Yeah. And he's read it really well. Just overhit it slightly. Again, just, just. Oh, I thought that was so in. See my reaction. It's just like all of a sudden, Last just minute, went, just didn't dives it? to the right. Used up all those putts. Yeah, they did. Previously it didn't matter at that point. It didn't matter. Unfortunately, Ben misses his par par attempt and leaves the stage clear for my birdie attempt, which I decided to shove my <laughs> to the left. <laughs> there we go. That that pretty much summed up summed up our game. It was a very what I call a nearly yeah a nearly. Yeah, it could have been an epic 
match. Yes. And it, and it was still a very good match. Yeah. It nipped and tucked. Yeah. Um, but it was just that middle stretch uh, on the back line there. It absolutely where, killed us. Yeah, Glenn and Marcus just gelled. If when it wasn't one of them, it was the other one. Yeah, they just gelled too well for, for us. And, yes. and on reflection, like there was a lot of shots going around. Um, yeah. Yeah, and it was just yeah. It was relentless from our like every like I'd make I'd make par and it like make no difference to anything no, at all. Which then put no more pressure on you on the holes where you're now thinking like I've I know I get a shot here. Shot. I've got to make par. Yeah, yeah. So it's that thing of like. But um, it was you know for for Glenn to walk on that oh, golf he played course, so good. Having never seen it before, other than whatever he's watched on the internet. Yeah. To travel all that distance, yeah. it was so nice to see yeah. him play that well. So congratulations, Glenn! I know yeah. you'll be watching to the end, <laughs> and everybody else, if you've stuck it around yeah. to the end, and you've enjoyed this type of content, it's a little bit longer form content from yeah. us, a bit of commentary on the way around. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, give us a comment down there, tell us what you like, what you like to see more of. Yep. Yeah, so um, Glenn is one of our patrons, so thank you so much to him and all the other guys that are patrons of ours. If you'd like to become a Patreon, the link is in the description below. Um, check out the website at pjlife365 and it will tell you all about the different levels of entry that we have on that site. Yes, so thank you as always to all the Patreons. Your support is amazing. Thanks to everyone that subscribes and we'll see you down here on the channel next time. See you later. Bye bye. Come on!